We are gonna be so productive in the next 20 minutes. We have got strength training to build definition, functional exercises to build a strong life, finishers to take your body to the next level, and a no repeat structure so you can give each set everything you've got. Get ready to feel amazing and get strong. Let's do this. Every great workout starts with a warm up, and we are gonna start with a squat to alternating heel tap. So hands are gonna come behind your head as if we're doing a prisoner squat. We're gonna take it down into that squat. As we come up, you're gonna take that opposite hand to the opposite heel, crossing that leg over, getting a little hip mobility here, starting to activate the glutes. Good, feeling this in the legs, and also keeping that core nice and tight. Taking your time here, working at your own pace. Lowering down as low as you can go, and then as those muscles start to get warm, try to take that squat a little bit deeper. Whew. Right out of the gate, you know we gotta work on good form. During today's workout, work at your own pace. Challenge yourself with any no repeat workout. You know what I'm gonna say, you get one shot. That is one chance at each exercise, so really focus, give it your all, be intentional with each rep. I'm telling you, this workout, it's tough but you are gonna feel so accomplished by the end of it. It's gonna be amazing. No joke, I am kind of in love with this workout. Last one that we're gonna go into, good morning. Here we go. Hands on the hips, take those legs out. Keep the knees soft, drive the hips to the wall behind you. Back is flat and then up, good. So bringing that chest just about parallel to the floor, feeling that stretch down the hamstring and then squeeze back up. Good, breathing. Couple more here, then we're gonna go into bum kicks and arm pulls. Here's two more. Keep that good form with this. And last one. Good, so arms are gonna come out in front of you as those heels come towards the bum. We're gonna bring the arms back, squeezing those shoulder blades around your spine. So here we go. This workout today, super simple structure, challenging structure with the work and rest we have. We've got 10 sets to begin with those 10 sets. We'll work for 50, rest for 15. After those 10 sets, we're gonna get 45 seconds to rest, recover, regroup, and then get ready for our finishers, which are 60 seconds of work, followed by 30 seconds of pulses. It's going to be tough. We'll get 15 seconds of rest in between. Things are gonna move quick today, so just stay focused, and again, one shot at each, so give it your all. Whew. Three more, then we're gonna go into backwards arm circles, and last one, solid stance here with the feet, slight bend in the knees, arm circles back. Whew. Good, Whew. breathing already. I feel my heart rate getting up. I think it's because I'm so excited for this one, for real. A finisher's workout, finishing our program incredible here with this last Thursday strength. I can't even believe it. This has been such an amazing, eight weeks with you, just being intentional, being incredible and getting strong, there is like nothing better. Two more, then we're gonna go into a low sumo squat. Last one, take those legs out, toes turned out. We're gonna take it down into a low sumo squat. Hands right here behind your knees. Now I want you to open up those hips, pressing back on the knees, drop one shoulder down, and then rotate to the other side. Good, so keep that bum down. So again, things are gonna move quick. Before we get into that next exercise, I'm gonna tell you what we've got coming and then we'll have 15 seconds to switch it up, switch our weight, get into position, and then go. First exercise is gonna be a slow tempo sumo squat. Three more here and then grab your weight for that. Lift moderately heavy today. Again, challenge yourself, work hard for that full 50 and lift heavy so we can build that definition. So grab your weight for the slow tempo sumo squat. I am gonna go ahead and go with my one dumbbell, 50 pounds, you can use two if you'd like, but I'm gonna start heavy with my 50. So grab your weight, meet me here, and let's do this. All right, and if you have two dumbbells, you're just gonna use one dumbbell on each leg, but from here, legs out, toes out, shoulders roll down and back. Follow my tempo on this one. We're gonna go slow down, slow up, and here we go. So take it down, we're gonna go slow for eight. Here's six, here's four, here's two. Hold at the bottom, weight in the heels, now press it up slow for eight, six, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Now take it back down slow, nice and slow for eight. Ooh, halfway, that's four, three, two, one. Hold it low. All right, back up for eight. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Back down. This is the only one that we're gonna be on the same tempo. After this, you're gonna work at your own tempo. Whoo, back up, last eight. We're gonna get ready, kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings next. Here's three, two, and a one. All right, adjust your weight, kettlebell swing. I'm gonna go with 30 pounds for mine. Again, pick something to challenge you. We're gonna be working power on this one. Legs out, dumbbell down. Do a couple of reps here just to get that weight swinging. And then it's 50 on, here we go. Now with a kettlebell swing, Keep in mind, this is not about the arms and shoulders. This is about the glutes, the hams, and more in the lower body. So really think about the power coming through that lower body. Arms just coming parallel to the floor or about shoulder height. Back is flat as that dumbbell or kettlebell swings through the legs and then power up right here. Exhale as you drive those hips forward. Now this one gets the heart rate up. Whew. Got a little bit of cardio on this one. Almost there. Now when the timer is up, don't just stop the weight. Let it swing, let it carefully come down. Then we're gonna go into renegade rows. Three, two, and one. Whew. Carefully let that weight swing to stop. Grab your weights, renegade rows next. Whew. Knees or toes for this one. Whew. Going here in three. Two, and one, let's go. And squeeze, back flat, core engage. Now, whether you're on your knees or your toes, make sure you've got a slightly wider base with those legs. So you don't wanna be in that normal plank position with your legs. Legs need to be out a little bit wider to give you a little bit more leverage and stability, but upper body, Shoulders, elbows, wrists, all in line. As you row up, squeeze shoulder blade around spine. Keep that body long and strong. Squeeze the legs. Squeeze the glutes. Almost there. V sit Arnold press next. Here it is in three, two, and one. So taking it out, V sit here. I'm gonna keep my 15 pound weights for this one. Keep that chest up. Palms face you as we press up. They rotate out and away. In three, two, and one. Here we go. Modification, you can do this standing as well. This is a very challenging position. Ooh, this seated takes out all the extra stability and work from that lower body. So the core really has to activate as well as those shoulders. Keep the wrist straight and as you press up, Make sure shoulders are not coming up towards your ears. So keep the shoulders relaxed. Whew. I, I told you, we got some functional training in here today. <laughs> Getting strong in all the ways. <sighs> Breathing, narrow glute bridge hold with pullover is next. I'm gonna keep my weights here, same. But you can use one if you need. This is three. Two, and one. All right, roll it over with that narrow glute bridge. Legs are pinned together, feet pinned together. We're gonna keep those hips up. We're gonna pull that weight over, roll it back. We've got three, two, bring those hips up, and let's go. Here we go, pulling it over. And up, good. Squeezing the legs, squeezing the glutes, dropping those dumbbells down, and then pulling back up. Wrist stay straight here. This is an amazing compound move. We have got so much working. We've got the glutes. The legs are working a little bit. You can feel the shake, especially those inner thighs with this narrow position. Core, lats, the arms are feeling it, the chest. It is so good. Whew. We're gonna flip it over for a wide push up next. Now you can keep your dumbbells if they have a flat bottom and use your dumbbells for your push-ups. That'll, if, if push-ups bother your wrists, that's an awesome option to take. Going here in three, two, and one. Oh my word, 
shaking. Oh my God. All right, here we go. So wide push up, arms out wider than we normally would. Legs out, you can do this on your knees or your toes, but work on that full range of motion, challenge yourself, and let's go. 50 on. Exhale as you push up. Now, even though we're in a wider position, make sure as you come down, those arms aren't coming out wide. Elbows are still slightly angled back. Now again, one shot at each exercise. So I want to challenge you right now to work as hard as you can to lower those push-ups down, even if you have to bring it to your knees, to bring it all the way down, push it all the way up. You got it. Come on, this is where we get strong. This is where we break those barriers when you push out of your comfort zone. That's when you find out what you're capable of. Here it is, three, two, and one. Awesome, moving on to an alternating rear lunge with a bicep curl. So bring it up to standing. I'm gonna keep my weights again. I'm gonna keep my 15 pounds. Going here in three, two, and one. So as you lunge back, you curl up. Modification you will see is that squat to curl. That's only if lunges bother your knees. Now, if you're just not as a huge fan of lunges, but they don't bother your knees, stick with the lunges here. And to really maximize this bicep curl, make sure those arms are staying pinned into your body. So don't let the arms come up and away. That's gonna start working the shoulders. So if you need to think about keeping your elbows back, you can do that. We're gonna switch it up to a kneeling tricep overhead extension next. Oh, here it is. Three, two, and one. Adjust your weight if you need one or two dumbbells. I'm gonna bop it up to 20. So you can do this standing as well if kneeling bothers your knees but legs about hip width, arms up, and here we go. So take it down and press it up. Exhale as you press up. Good. Get that full range of motion. Remember, work at your own tempo now. Now with this kneeling position, it takes out any of that extra stability or leverage that we may have from that lower part of our leg. So you can feel the glutes activating more. You can feel the core stabilizing more and the triceps working a little bit harder as well. If you couldn't tell by the shake. We have got three exercises left in this round before we hit our finishers round. Getting ready to work abs next. Here's three, two, and one. Roll it over onto your back. Straight leg cross body crunch or a modification. Legs out in a wide V or bent for that modification. Going here in three, two, and one. Here we go. So as you come up, try to meet that knee to the elbow and get that twist in there so you can work the obliques. Good, so really sit it up here. Keep going, we're almost there. We're gonna bring it back to stand. We're gonna go back to heavy because we've got a sumo Romanian deadlift next. Whew. Couple more reps, keep it strong. Remember, one shot at each exercise. Push yourself here, three, two, and one. Bring it up to stand, sumo Romanian deadlift. One or two dumbbells. I'm gonna go back up to what I started with, my 50 pounds. Legs out, toes out in that sumo position. Shoulders rolled down and back, and let's go. Last one here before that longer break. Work at your own tempo. This is a slow exercise, so take it slow. Keep that form, slight bend in the knees, hinging at the hips. So focus on that hip hinge right there. Drive those hips back, weight stays in the heels. As you lower down, back is staying flat. So as soon as your back starts to round or arch, you need to check yourself. 
<laughs> make sure you're not going down too low, but also as you start, roll those shoulders down and back. Think about sticking that chest out. And then up. Awesome. Oh, this break. We got it. Come on. Push through, you're almost there. Here it is. Three, two, and one. All right, now enjoy the break. I don't even know what we're gonna do with ourselves with this long break now. 45 seconds. I'm gonna tell you what we got going on for the finisher so you can be prepared to give it everything because I'm telling you what, with these finishers, it's gonna take your body to the next level. It's gonna be super challenging, but I know you've got it. You've made it this far. You made, if you were taking part in Incredible, this is our last and final Thursday workout. So come on, bring it home today. We have got a push, pull, legs, and ab finisher. We're gonna start with shoulder press, 60 seconds of full range. Finishing that, 30 seconds of pulses. We'll get a quick break. We'll go right into 30 seconds of pulses. Then squat to squat pulses, row, row pulses, plank to plank rocks. So grab your weights for shoulder press and let's get ready. I'm gonna go with 15. Again, moderately heavy. Bring it up, full range for 60. Here we go. Press it up. Again, work at your own pace. Getting that full range of motion. Bring those weights down. All the way up, wrist stay straight, punch the ceiling. Make sure you're not locking your knees out and make sure those hips are tucked under. So we don't want our back sticking or our bum sticking out. We don't want our knees locked out. So keep that good form all the way through. Good form is gonna help you to prevent any injuries. It's also gonna help you maximize the full range and maximize the exercise so that your muscles are getting the most. If you showed up, I'm not, I don't want you to just get 80%. I want you to get 100%, which is why I am constantly trying to remind you about form because even for me, I will slip up sometimes and be like, oopsie. So it's just those reminders we need. <sighs> getting ready for the 30 second pulse. We're gonna let those arms come down here in three, two, one. 30 seconds, bring it up. Halfway, here we go, 30 on. Pulse it out, come on. This is a finisher. This is where we burn it out. Halfway, come on. We're gonna get ready to hit lower body so those arms are gonna get a break. Here it is, three, two, and one, oh my word. All right, squat, so challenge yourself with that weight. I'm gonna bump it up Whew, to 20 pounds, one in each hand. Now, you have the option to do more of a suitcase squat with hands next to you, or bring them up on your shoulders, squat it out in three, two, and one. Here we go, 60 on. Keep that chest up, weight stays in the heels. Good form all the way through. Now you know what to expect with the squat even. Good, make sure you're getting that full range. Lower down to where you can, and then all the way back up. Don't worry, that pulse pretty soon. We're gonna be keeping it low. Pulse is coming up. Remember, we're gonna take a quick break and then we're gonna go right into 30 seconds of pulses. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Whew. You can switch the weights if you want to keep them by your side for the pulses. 30 on, let's pulse. You can also have them up on your shoulders if you'd like. I just, for me right now, I feel like that's gonna make my form a little questionable. So I'm gonna keep them down to the side so I can keep with the pulses. <sighs> Halfway, come on, you got it. Two more finishers after this, that's three minutes of work. I know you've got it. You've come so far. Here it is, three, two, and one. 15 seconds, we're into rows now. I'm gonna adjust back down to my 15s. 60 seconds of bent over rows. 
Follow by those pulses. Grab your weights. We're moving quick. Back flat, core engaged. Bring it down. Here we go. Full range squeeze. Now take your time at the top here. Get that squeeze around the shoulder blades and then control it back down. Make sure that back is staying flat. Hips driving to that wall behind you. Good, make sure that back again is staying flat. One reminder here, think about sticking that chest out. So make sure shoulders are rolled down and back and then stick that chest out and squeeze. Take your time, get that contraction at the top. Make that mind muscle connection, get the most of it right here. Almost there, quick five seconds to shake it out, then right into pulses. Here it is, three, two, and one. Let's bring it down and pulse. Here we go, halfway up, pulse. Squeeze shoulder blades around spine. Come on, stick that chest out, stick that bum to the wall behind you. Keep the weight in your heels. One challenge remains for the core. You're almost there. Come on, less than 10. Here it is. Three, two, one. Dumbbells are out. No dumbbells. Plank on either knees or toes. Start on your toes if you can. Bring it down to the ground. All right, plank position, 60 second hold. Here we go. So get that strong plank. Whew. Now don't think about the burn. Don't focus on that. I want you to focus on how far you've come. Just think about that right now. From the day you started, did you think, and this could have been years ago, but did you think that you would be holding a one minute plank plus a 30 second plank rock. Cause I can tell you what, <laughs> if you saw where I started, there was no way <laughs> that I was gonna be doing that. But we have come this far together and we are not gonna stop. So hold it. <sighs> come on, squeeze the legs, keep everything nice and strong. When you think plank, think of your body as a strong, solid plank right now. Whew. Come on, it doesn't bend. We got it, it doesn't break. We're gonna drop it to the knees for a short break in three, two, one. We're gonna bring it right back up. 30 second plank rock, here we go. So bring it up and then rock it. Small movement. I'm thinking about bopping my head on the wall in front of me and then bopping my heels to the wall behind me. But belly button is staying squeezed into my spine, shoulders, elbows, wrists in line, and everything is still staying nice and strong. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Finishers. You just finished so strong. You are the absolute bomb. I am drenched right now after 20 minutes. What in the world? Thank you for giving everything. Thank you for showing up, I promise you. The fact that you showed up, the fact that you're consistent means you are going places. And you are gonna be so amazed at how far you have come. I love you so much. Don't ever discount a 20 minute workout. Don't ever discount push and play even when you don't feel like it. That's when it counts the most. I hope that you have an amazing day ahead of you. I love you so much. Do not forget, hey, I got something for you, the glutes finisher. Go for it, finish strong with glutes. I will see you over there, I love you.